Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon uh, as we present to you the unique partnership between McMaster Continuing Education and Ed2Go. And we can now, and how we can expand your knowledge and skills through online courses. My name is Monica Moretta, and I'm a program manager with McMaster Continuing Education. And I am very pleased to co-host today's session and to welcome Gerdeth Gonzalez, Regional Director with Ed2Go. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge and recognize that McMaster Continuing Education is located on the traditional territories of the Mississauga and Haudenosaunee nations and within the lands protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. Gerdeth, if you'd like to start the presentation, we, we're, we're ready. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much, Monica, for that great introduction. All right. Well, again, my name is Jaredith Gonzalez from ed to go We're a division of Cengage. And many of you may have not uh, known, but Cengage has been around for over 100 years. Uh, we started in the academic textbook uh, business, working with many academic is institutions in North America, and then also providing digital content to those, um, to those textbooks over time. We're also one of the very first pioneers when it came out to um, online education. And, and that's where we are now. Um, I am part of uh, Ed2Go, which is the division of Cengage that provides uh, online education to uh, anybody who wants to be able to learn it. Um, and with our partnership with McMaster University, we are uh, one of their strategic partners when it comes to online continuing education uh, skills-based training. So it's my privilege to be able to talk to you about um, what we do and how we are able to help you as uh, learners who are looking for reskilling and upskilling. So next slide, please. Okay, and in terms of who we serve, um, we understand that education is one of the tools in your arsenal in life that is, that is very important to get you to that next step in your career or just your next step in life. Um, as a learner, we understand that time, limited resources and accesses, and maybe even your life circumstances really get in the way of you being able to, to pursue your education goals. For example, you, you know, we, we serve learners who may have not picked up a, a, a textbook in over 20 years, right? It, and, and who may have not finished their high school education. Um, it could be that first generation immigrant, for example, who is still learning the language, but is not ready for college, but do want to get a certificate and be able to get to a good paying living wage job. It also could be uh, the person who may have had family issues and had to take care of uh, children and or elderly um, you know, in, in their family. And now we have the opportunity to make some life changes to pursue their own career. So these are all, all the different types of learners, wherever you are in your walk of life, that we wanna be able to serve and be able to provide the right tools to help you get to the next stage in your in your educational path. So with Ed2Go, like I said, we've been pioneers at this for a long time, uh, for over 20 years. We're, we're grateful the fact that we've been able to uh, build a rich portfolio with our, um, with our parent company, Cengage, of over 900 online courses. And we do serve over 4 million students worldwide. Next slide, please. Uh, some of the things that we like to do on a, a regular basis is really understand what students are looking for. Um, so we partnered with Strata Education. They do have a, a, a consumer division to understand um, some of the needs of, of students. And this was post-COVID when we did this particular survey of over 6,000 students. What was interesting is that we found that uh, about 59% of the students that we surveyed really were looking for taking uh, their education path to the next level for reasons of uh, personal interest. They wanted to be able to learn something new. Um, 
it might have been a a new skill in in uh, in business or in arts, for example. Some students actually wanted a skill that can be able to get them to the next level of their job. Or maybe uh, it's that 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 graduate from McMaster University who who needs an extra skill because their particular work environment is looking for it. Um, others were looking for a certification, which we'll talk about a little bit more uh, during this presentation. They're looking for a certification or a license in their particular field to show that they have a level of expertise. And so it's really interesting how education has evolved over time and not saying that a, 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 a degree is still very valuable, but we're also seeing a nuance of students who are looking for skills-based training, non-credit programs that again, made such a, an important um, partnership with us working with McMaster University to be able to provide that type of portfolio to, to students and learners. Next slide, please. So as we think about uh, all the different options that you have there in the market in terms of online learning, I want uh, to make sure you understand that uh, the type of courses that we've uh, worked with McMaster University on are quality learning design courses. So they are set to strong academic rigor. And, um, you know, we've learned a lot of things within the, these past 20 years. And so, uh, so some of the things that, that we hold very dear to our heart is making sure that we have a platform and content, not only that is of quality, but it provides successful outcomes to students. So four of our key principles uh, when creating the content and the platform that students are participating in is making sure that, uh, that, that, that they are on four key principles, that they're intentional, that they're inclusive, that they're authentic, and that they personalize. So let me talk a little bit more about what I mean there. So when it, it when it comes to being intentional, we understand that you know for learners we want them not to uh, you know take the the content for just what they see for it. We want them to be challenged, but not overwhelmed, and we want them to be motivated. So they're going through a sequence of learnings so that they're they're going through steps that are increasingly uh, complex in goals. And in that, we're providing uh, in the content examples of assets and activities that uh, help them go through a sequence to help the learner achieve these objectives. When it comes to inclusivity, we recognize that learners come from many different backgrounds, many different cultures, many different circumstances, and also learning abilities. So it's very, very important for us to have a universal de design for, for lear a learning framework to create a flexible learning environment that accommodates individual learning differences. And that is a theme throughout the entire experience of the platform, as well as the content that the students are experiencing. Authenticity. Um, we understand that in today's world, things are always changing. Concepts are changing. Practices, especially in IT and businesses, are changing. So uh, we, we have a practice of being able to update the content um, in a very aggressive schedule. And, um, and, and when we look at it, we wanna make sure that the content is relevant to the user. So we're providing them engaging content so that they're doing activities as what that they would expect to receive in the real world. Um, and, and many of the, con uh, the content that uh, student, students uh, run into have various activities, whether they're actual simulations of a, a particular practical experience within uh, within their learning environment or many different uh, ways to engage with the content. So that's what we mean by authenticity. And finally, personalization. This is very important to us as, as again, we do a lot of user feedback and, and, and understanding what, what learners are looking for. Uh, we understand that 
even though this is an online platform, it is important for us to recognize that each learner is an individual. So we do personalize content in, in, in the fact that we do have formative assessments. Um, when students are coming up to an activity, there is choices in their learning activities. We provide timely and targeted feedback, uh, areas where there's chunk reading. And finally, the most important part is that engagement. They, they, are, they can engage with their facilitator and instructor and engage with others in their cohort so that they're learning from others of their own experiences as well. Next slide. Okay, so now that I, I've, I've kind of gone over uh, the experience and the platform, I do want to talk about the type of courses that are that are offered. Uh, I'll first go over what is what's called the fundamental series, and what this is are they're very short, basic skills courses for professional development or enrichment. So think about this. Say, for example, you know you just wanted to learn. Microsoft Excel, because uh, that's a skill that, you know, is needed in work. Um, you know, it it is, it, it it's, you want to learn certain features, maybe pivot tables, or just even know how to use Excel. Uh, that's an example of online course uh, that is, uh, falls under the fundamental series, or it could be that you're, you're just, you're not ready yet in, to go into the allied health field, but you're interested in learning about um, veterinary science, right? And uh, what, it, what it means to be a veterinary assistant. So again, these are short courses. We, we uh, provide them in two different modalities. Again, accommodating that learning style for the students. So one learning style is to provide the instructor moderated course. So an instructor is actually going to be participating in discussion boards. Throughout a, a series of six weeks, with their cohort of students and helping them uh, understand extra information about the course, being able to facilitate any questions and drive engagement overall uh, with students. However, students might just want a self-guided course. Um, this is a fully uh, self-paced uh, online asynchronous course same thing as that, what they would be getting on the um, instructor moderated course, but they're doing it on their own self pace. Uh, so instead of doing uh, the course for a six week period, they can probably finish it, let's just say in three, three weeks or less, but they do have a duration of access for three months. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of some, some of the online courses. Uh, as you can see from the left, uh, I, I just put down a, a number of different uh, types of verticals. We address uh, uh, courses that have to do with business, IT, in the arts, um, uh, even starting a pet sitting business is, is one of them. So, you know, there's some fun courses there that you can be able to learn many different skills. So next slide, please. Okay, so the other set of courses are our career training programs. This is a lot more intense um, in the fact that it is leading to an industry certif certification, which I'll talk about in, in, in the next few slides. But I did wanna let you know that there is a difference here because these courses are open enrollment. Um, students can work on their own self pace. It is a fully asynchronous online. And depending on the actual type of the, the course, some courses have a duration of access for 16 to 18 months, really depends on uh, the type of curriculum that we have. We have uh, over 300 courses that's available in this uh, particular um, uh, you know, platform. Uh, the, the other nice thing is that we understand that students might want to have some a level of practical experience. So, in addition to the online course, we do have um, optional externships, especially on the allied health um, areas where students can be able to engage with say local employers and be able to shadow uh, experiences there or participate on, on hands-on experiences to be able to take what they've learned 
uh, from McMaster University and apply it to the real world. So some of the advanced career training programs uh, that that uh, we 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 offer through McMaster University could be in again business, IT, construction and trades, in the arts, and you'll see some examples of that here on on the on the left hand side of of the uh, presentation. So next slide, please. Okay, in addition to the online courses, I explained in the very beginning that uh, results in terms of student experience, as well as uh, completion is very important to, to our, our partnership. And so um, it is important that while we are providing these online courses that students do have the support they need to be successful. That starts from providing that online format so that we're, we're, we're eventually serving students um, that may have barriers to training, uh, but that we can also be able to teach very effectively and efficiently. One of the things that I do want to let you know is that we do have an ecosystem around success. And it starts with when a student takes a career training program, they actually are, uh, are engaged with an enrollment representative. That enrollment representative helps them in the beginning of their journey, really understands their needs. Um, you know, what kind of career path do you want to go into? What are some of the skills that you want to develop? And really understand that person, that student's uh, goals so that we can be able to put them in the right course that makes sense for them. Um, and then once they're enrolled in the course, I will talk a little bit about the student advisor experience, but they will be assigned a, a student advisor that will help them through that journey. Um, one of the things that we do pride ourselves in is our instructors and facilitators. We couldn't be more grateful in ha than having such a great group of, of um, individuals who uh, have the heart to be able to, uh, to, to teach adult learners um, in whatever path of life that they're in. Uh, we're, we're lucky to have um, facilitators who have been part of academia. They've taught at academic institutions, but also has that great blend of being part of the industry. And what I mean by that is that they've worked in the industry or they're part of industry boards. And so this is a great, um, great advantage for many of the students who develop relationships with the instructors and facilitators because they are able to develop a relationship with them so that they can be able to um, network within the industry and or get letters of recommendations from the, um, the instructors or the facilitators. And finally, the other thing that we, we, uh, we want to let you know is that we do stay up to, up to, um, and understanding what is in demand in your particular province, uh, in your particular area, uh, to understand what kind of skills are needed for you to be able to do that particular job. So those are some of the trainings that we do uh, uh, do with our with our employees to make sure that they're addressing your needs carefully. Next slide, please. Okay, so let's talk about a certificate of completion versus certification. Uh, this is very important because again, the training that you're going to get with McMaster University will provide you the, both of, the best of both worlds, I guess you can say. Um, as you're taking that, uh, for example, the, the, the Lean Six Sigma Yellow Belt or Green Belt course, you're taking the course, which is a preparation course, uh, so that once you complete, you're able to get a certificate of completion from McMaster University. However, the other benefit is that you are now ready to then take the industry exam because you've been prepped for it through McMaster uh, to be able to then get your industry certification. So not only are you getting your certificate of completion from McMaster, but you're also getting your industry certification, for example, from industry experts like Microsoft, as well as Cisco, for example, because they are 
global leaders in the industry for systems administration or CCNA. In Lean Six Sigma, it's Go Lean, uh, Go Lean Six Sigma, as well as the PMI Institute for project management. So the reason why this is very, very important, uh, especially if you're using or looking for a certification in your industry, is that many of the employers that you're, you're working with do recognize the skills that you are developing as, uh, as, as authorities um, in, in that particular field. And it validates the knowledge that they're looking for in an employee. So at the end of the day, it really does provide you that, um, that training, but also what alignment with the employers of what they're looking for as skills. And it may provide you that career enhancement as well as earning potential over, long, over the long term. So I hope that explains the difference between a certificate of completion as well as an industry certification that you're going to be getting as you enroll and complete a course through McMaster University. Next slide. Going back to the uh, ecosystem of success that I was telling you about. Um, so as students enroll in a career training program, um, this could be a journey for a student uh, that could take six months. It could take 12 months. But we understand that, you know, there is a there is a support system that we want to be able to help the student be successful. So students are assigned a student advisor. They work with them as their cheerleader, their coach, right? During this entire journey that they're taking an online experience. Uh, they're checking up with them uh, day 30, day 60. How are you doing? Um, I see that you've only been 25% of your course. Um, how can I help you? Are you struggling with the content, right? So again, because it's an online course, we want to be, uh, we also want to put a human into that interaction and, and um, help the student making sure that they stay motivated and advise them through their journey as they get to completion. So those are some of the things that uh, we're doing to, to help support students. Next slide. Finally, results. Um, as we look in surveying our students, um, we took us, uh, the, the, the left-hand side is something that we did uh, for about 147 students, or I'm sorry, uh, over 150 students that we surveyed that were unemployed uh, at a certain point of time. And we looked at those students, followed their journey, and after a year's time found that uh, once they actually completed their course, they were able to increase their wages by 47%. So we're happy to be able to help students see value as well as employers see value in, in the skills that they're developing. Overall, with the ed to go courses, when it comes to career training programs, nationally, we're seeing about an 85% completion rate. Again, that is a result of the, uh, the support you're getting from McMaster University, the support from the uh, student advisors, as well as, again, the way the course is formatted for success as they're able to take their, those prep courses and then be able to apply them to industry certifications. And so let's go to the next slide. Finally, I do want to let you know that McMaster, if you go to this particular URL, you're going to be able to find a lot of different courses in many different disciplines that you may be interested in. Like I said, we will meet you where you're at in life, whether you're just exploring a new career, whether you're just uh, whether you're starting over. Uh, there, there is a course for you to uh, just get started and get your, your feet wet. Or it may be a full-blown certification program that you're ready to get into that field and we're ready to be able to help you um, take it to the next level in your education and your career aspirations. So I hope, uh, I hope that uh, provides you a, a good listing. And so Monica, I'm, I'm going to turn it over to you now. 
Thank you so much for that, all that valuable information. And that presentation was absolutely spot on. Um, a lot of the courses that we do offer are um, through Ed2Go are, we really do curate what we do select through Ed2Go. We want them to complement the programming that we offer at McMaster Continuing Education so that your uh, trajectory as you complete your programming with us and see that the, the um, not just the need, but um, what you can acquire after completing your, your, your diploma or certificate through continuing education, the add-ons that might be beneficial to you as you are either upskilling or, or uh, acquiring a, a new position or a new job that requires that training. And so we're thrilled to be able to offer that through Ed2Go. Um, I wanted to thank everyone for joining us today. Uh, we really do hope you found this session useful and informative. I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you that you can start browsing and enrolling in many of the online courses discussed today. And you'll see that on our screen right now. Um, if you're looking for additional professional development courses, please visit the McMaster Continuing Education website at continuing.mcmaster.ca. You can also reach out to the student information spe specialists for additional information through our online contact us form on the McMaster Continuing Education website or through the website chat. Again, thank you so much everyone for joining us today. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. It was a wonderful way to spend a Wednesday lunch hour. Uh, again, thank you so much, Caitlin, Gerardeth, Christine, um, Hanel, and my other uh, colleagues, and everyone that joined us today. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day.